Hello everyone, back to the into this evening's fur video. So there's been some more developments with the uh, latest computer model runs. Uh, for next week's weather, uh, but the computer model runs have just come out. And I just want to bring you up to date with uh, the latest developments because they are a little bit different, or GFS certainly is, compared to uh, what was in today's second video update. So there's been um, this third video update, we did the five day forecast um, first thing. Uh, today, uh, this morning, and that uh, just took us to Monday. Then we did your week to 10 day video update, um, and also extending out for uh, the next couple of weeks as well with that one. And uh, it was a little bit uh, sort of downbeat in terms of colder weather for uh, next week. Or it was going to go cold, but it wasn't anything particularly cold showing up. There has been some recent developments with the model runs. I'm going to talk you through them very, very quickly uh, right now. So we're going to start off by having a look at the GFS midday run, which is just updated in the last uh, hour or so. We're starting on Sunday, and you'll see we're putting down quite a chilly, quite a cold uh, northerly wind on Sunday, this ridge of high pressure out to west. So that's all in line with what we're expecting. Then this low pressure begins coming from the northwest on Monday. Uh, we're ridges across the country, so it will be a mainly dry day, but quite cold. Then this low pressure will bring cloud, rain, possibly preceded by sleet or snow into western Scotland and Northern Ireland uh, by the end of Monday. And then this low pressure, this is an interesting feature, this low. It's stalling across the country as it's moving into quite cold air. And you'll notice the wind is from the north behind it. So it's moving into cold air, it has cold air behind it. There's a stall going on with a weather front that's kind of strung out through the centre of the country on Tuesday. And um, that could well be bringing, uh, it will be bringing rain, but it could well be bringing some snow as well. Now, as this low pressure slips away to the south, look what the midday run of the GFS does. As we get to a week away, Wednesday the 23rd, it's now pulling in a very cold easterly wind, a bitterly cold easterly wind starts to push across the country as this low pressure slips down across France and into the Mediterranean. So this is kind of like a trigger low. We call this a trigger low. Uh, as it slides away, stalls and slides away, it acts as the trigger to allow this high pressure to build over Scandinavia and to put in this bitterly cold easterly wind. So after what could be a snow event on Tuesday, Wednesday is opening the door to a bitterly cold easterly wind, which probably brings in heavy snow showers to eastern parts of the country. That easterly wind is then with us through to the end of next week. This is Thursday, 24th of January, another day with a bitterly cold easterly for England and Wales, not less so for Scotland, but same for England and Wales, more snow showers piling in with that. There's the upper air temperatures. There, uh, we've got the minus 10 ice of them through the country so temperatures will be struggling to get much above freezing in the south with that bitter easterly wind moving up towards day 10 with the gfs that's how we look this ridge gradually sinks down across the country and uh certainly for the north it's dry and frosty but for england and wales even as far out as saturday the 26th of january we now have this east to north easterly wind probably still bringing snow showers uh, into the southeast up to day 10. So a much colder and a much more wintry uh, midday GFS run. Let's have a look at some of the other model runs that have updated uh, just now. So this is the GM, this is the Canadian model. Again, we have this ridge building in on uh, Sunday, quite a dry, cold day. The ridge is still over the country on Monday, but low pressure begins heading towards the northwest of Scotland. Then this low pressure comes in to the country on Tuesday, Monday night, Tuesday. It's stalling again, so there might be some sort of rain snow event with that one. And then the low is sliding away. Let's go through to Wednesday. But we're not pulling in that easterly wind. So this is different, uh, the GEM, compared to GFS for Wednesday. No bitter easterly wind. But it is cold, and we would probably have snow across parts of the country, I would have thought, by the middle of next week. Moving up towards day 10, more low pressure trying to come in from off the Atlantic. But notice this ridge sitting to our east. That's how we finish up at day 10. It looks like high pressure is beginning to take over across Scandinavia. It's beginning to turn the wind, back the wind into the east. If we could run on another 24 hours, which we can't, but if we could, I suspect that would turn the wind into the east. The UK Met looks like that. This is Sunday, ridge building in. So a relatively dry, cold day on Sunday. Lasting into Monday 2, and then as far as we can go with the UK Met Office, model run is to Tuesday, with his low pressure centred over the country, it's stalling again though, cold air's tucking in behind that low, cold air ahead of it, that suggests rain, sleet and snow across the country, does look as though that low pressure is stalling and slipping to the south. 
This is the ICOM model. Again, we have this ridge across the country on Sunday, uh, and that's lasting into Monday too. And this low pressure coming in from the Atlantic on Tuesday, less less of a low pressure but on Tuesday. So this would mainly restrict rain or snow to the far west of the country. And then very different by the middle of next week, this has us in a strong westerly. So uncertain for a week away, this is bringing in strong Atlantic winds across the country, gale force winds, and probably quite cold for the north, kind of winter showers in the north, not particularly cold in the south. That's how we look at the end of the icon run, which is due Thursday, the 24th of January, and we're still in that westerly flow. Totally different, totally, totally different to what the GFS is showing. And then finally, we've got the ECMWF. That's just updating as I'm speaking, so hopefully we'll be able to get to day 10 with the ECM. This is how things look on Sunday. Again, we've got this little ridge building across the country. Sunday, mainly dry cold. Watch out the hard night frost at the weekend. This ridge is across the country still on Monday, but a low pressure system is coming into the far northwest, so rain, sleet, west of Scotland. Otherwise, lots of dry weather will be cold. Then that low pressure is coming in to the UK Monday night into Tuesday. Again, there's some sort of stall taking place along this weather system with cold air from the northwest of the North Atlantic tucking in behind it. There could be some sort of rain sleet or so we'll pro snow event. probably do snow watch um tomorrow i would have thought tomorrow afternoon evening this is how things looking on wednesday that low pressure is over the top of the country on wednesday uh 23rd of january but similar to the gfs by thursday the 24th it's slipping it away to the south and we started to pull in these cold east or northeast wind pressure is rising across Scandinavia. Just a couple more days to look at for the ECM. So this is how the uh, this is how the situation is going to be looking on Friday 25th of January when uh, we've got this ridge over Scandinavia. We're pulling in this cold easterly wind. It's 216 hours away. It looks increasingly cold and blocked. This high pressure is in there over Scandinavia. And then if we go through to day 10, that's how it's looking very, very poised. We've got uh, high pressure over Scandinavia, big high over Scandinavia with an intense cold pull. Look at that sitting just over the other side of the North Sea. Low pressure is out to the west of us trying to stop that cold air from the east getting to us. But if, if, if we were to pull winds into the east a little bit beyond day 10, we really would know about it. That's an exceptionally cold pool of air that's sitting across Scandinavia going down below minus 20 at 850 HPA just over the other side of the North Sea. That really is leaving us on an absolute knife edge at day 10. Them, and is the closest so far that we've seen to going into genuine severe cold and big freeze weather. So it would really, you'd really have to go on another day or so to see which way that goes. Would the wind getting to the east, we pull those bitterly cold upper air temperatures in, or would that low pressure in the Atlantic fend it off? It's one of those that's 50 50. But uh, if that wind got into the east there, we really would know about it. It would be a really, really, really cold spell of weather for the end of January. So interesting uh, model developments with the midday runs of Mars, particularly the GFS, which has shifted a lot again. But GFS is swinging wildly at the moment, swinging wildly from run to run. And the ensembles are swinging as well. So it's all getting rather interesting, I have to say. We will see what tomorrow's model uh, runs bring us. Um, and of course, videos will keep uh, will keep coming at uh, Gabsworth Beats over the next few days as we uh, count down to this colder weather. Right, so that's it for now. That's brought you up to date with everything. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.